So, made it about a mile up uh, right now. And that's start the elevation gain. It's about a 2,000 foot elevation gain over uh, about a two mile sand to get up. So, very pretty out here. I mean, kind of a, in the lower part of it, but once we start getting up there, trees are gonna start getting a lot smaller. So the rock features in this part of the canyon are a lot different than as you're, you're going up. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, I, I think it's sandstone. But it has more of a feel of Bryce Canyon or, uh, or Zion in this part of the canyon. It's one of the further out spots uh, down in uh, Logan Canyon, but it's just a completely different feel. And you're surrounded right now, like I said, by these sandstone rock features that look very much different than uh, the rock formations that you see coming into the canyon. It'd be a lot of fun to uh, do some backcountry climbing out here with all of that but it's just so pretty out here and I wanted to make sure that I got a really good kind of panoramic view of uh of everything so and the sun is just starting to peak up and this is where we're headed up to Mount Naomi. Happy 37th birthday. So right here is a, another junction. The trail on the right goes out to uh, it's a backcountry lake called White Pine Lake. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but I've already done that hike. So we are going this way, straight and up. I'm gonna get some video of uh, just kind of what this trail looks like, most of it. So far has been, you know, like rocks and stuff in the trail. Um, like I said, this is one of the one of the harder hikes out here, and it's kind of out of the way. But from what I understand, the climb is totally worth the view at the end of it. So onward we go. So with everything going on in the world with COVID and just all the craziness that comes with it and having an immune compromised child who can't get the vaccine. I realized like for about the last year and a half I really haven't been out too much except for a few things for scouts but it's so pretty out here and it's so good to be able to finally be out like on a trail and just kind of away from everything. The sun's coming up, I can hear birds singing. I mean, and it's just absolutely beautiful out here. So, take kind of a quick look at where we're at right now. Looks like it goes flat for a while, which is a welcome break. I am amazingly out of shape right now. <laughs> so, I will enjoy this part before we start getting back into another about a thousand foot climb, I believe. Uh, up to the peak. So here soon we will probably end up getting some uh, gaining some more elevation. We've already gained quite a bit. So but a nice flat trail for a little bit. I'll take the break.
taking a break. Quick one. Had to shed a layer. It's uh, it's starting to warm up. But uh, I say when I started, it was probably somewhere around 50, 55 degrees. Um, but we're starting to get up into some higher elevation, so hopefully the temp will kind of keep down. But we're looking at like 100 degree weather, even out here in the canyon with all this shade. So, uh, like I said, on the bottom, it was cold. Kind of ditched the uh, the jacket real quick, and then now finally uh, taking off that base layer. So. But it's still absolutely beautiful out here. The sun is, is starting to rise, so it is starting to uh, uh, to get warmer. So. But so far, so good. I may be slow, but I'm gonna make it. Like we're starting to get into some switchbacks. Still gaining quite a bit of bit of elevation. Absolutely beautiful up here. <sighs> Man, this hike is a, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. But I'm about to go over one mountain and then the trail kind of dips down and then goes back up to uh, Mount Naomi, which I believe is right behind me. But <laughs> I don't know if I'm really out of shape or Maybe this isn't really a moderate trail, but oh, it's kicking my butt, but I'm definitely gonna make it. It's so beautiful out here. It's so quiet. I've only seen like two people and that was early on. They were runners. So it's been very, uh, very quiet. Just the birds and insects, I've seen some chipmunks, things like that. So that's just a beautiful day to go on a hike. Uh, it's starting to get pretty warm. I'm thinking within the next hour, uh, I'll be up on top of uh, Mount Naomi. And then going down, going back, that'll be a breeze because it's basically just been an elevation climb for the entire hike at this point. So it looks like I get a little bit of a break where it goes down, but honestly, that just means I'm going to have to make that back up when I go up the, uh, the side of the other mountain. So we'll check back in. So I think I'm about a mile out. It's the final push up to that summit. You can see it crossed. It's gonna go down and then it's gonna go right back up again. But slowly but surely, I'm making it. This would be a lot prettier view right now if uh, it wasn't for the wildfires. And so there's just so much smoke and it's you know, clouding everything up. Uh, I think that's probably a big part of the reason why uh, this hike seems to be a lot harder than what I thought it would be. This is you can feel it in the air 
how much smoke and everything from the wildfires are. So, and you know, the higher up in elevation you get, the lower oxygen. And so it's been it's been tough climbing, but I'm I'm in good spirits. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna make it. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna make it to the top. So earlier I talked about the red rocks that are on the first part of this uh, of this hike and how they seem very out of place. Most of the canyon has rocks like this and I, I don't know what it is. I want to say it's granite, but I'm probably wrong. But this is this is typically what you see on the left and the right of you as you're driving down 89 through Logan Canyon. Ah, what a view. I wish we didn't have to deal with all the smoke from the wildfires, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, this trail and another trail are only open for six weeks. Um, the land management got a grant, so they're reusing the road, so it's going to be closed now. But this is amazing. This is the hardest hike I have ever done, and this view is ridiculous, even with the, even with the uh, smoke, so. But, I'm here. This is the top of it. This is Mount Naomi. I really wonder why it's red, like that. It's almost like there's a lot of iron in the stone, and it's rusted. Maybe that's what it is. So it'd be great to, to have a geologist uh, weigh in on that, but I don't know any, so. But this is it. This is me on the top, finally. I hit the trail at 7.30. It is now 12.20. So about a five hour hike just to make it up here and it's only three and a half miles but it is a brutal three and a half miles from up here is another view of the rest of the can canyon so this is where i live this is where i play so i love these mountains and i love the canyon i love hiking this has been a blast I couldn't have, couldn't have got a better birthday gift. Bye. I won't show the, uh, the notifications, but my phone is just going bananas right now. Uh, I just randomly got an LTE signal out here, so that's great. I'm going to try and call my wife and let her know that I made it to the summit and that I'm fine. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. She she worries about me. She's a She's definitely a keeper. before I have to leave it's been an awesome hike up here and it's an amazing view I wish the smoke wasn't here but again it is what it is but it's time to start heading down so I'll catch up soon so I'm making my way back down um, I think I'm a little less than a third of the way down and I am just unbeat I am so exhausted <sighs> this was fun, but this is definitely not a moderate trail. This is this is very technical and it's very hard. So I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and rest, um, and then uh, oh, I have to keep going. I gotta get back to my car. I gotta get home. So so right now, as far as I can tell, I think I'm about a mile from uh, my car. Uh, but I found this really great shaded place. I wasn't going to take a break this early, but I just can pass this up. And the view here is just simply amazing. And that's the trail. Uh, like I said, I think... Uh, I think about another mile or so. 
So I'm hoping to have it done in the next hour. I'm just, man, I'm beat. This is kicking my butt. So one other thing that's going on right now is my, my pack is pretty heavy. Now I have some stuff in there that probably doesn't need to be in there. But a lot of it in the beginning was water weight. So I have a three liter bladder that's filled with uh, Gatorade right now. And like I said, I'm, I'm running pretty low on it. I think I have maybe half a liter left. And I usually have quite a bit left after, after hikes. But uh, there is like streams and things in this area. But unfortunately, because of the extreme drought that we're seeing, like everything is dried up. So everything had to be packed in. And that just adds a lot of bulk and a lot of weight in the pack. So... I might have to sit down and think about what do I really need and what don't I need kind of, kind of thing with it because uh, pretty much anywhere right now that, that you go hiking in Logan Canyon, uh, there's no water. Um, the only one I can think of is that there's a sawmill trail uh, that my wife and I are going to do soon and it follows the, uh, the Logan River. But all these trails that used to have like little creeks and and little rivers and, and things like that like they are just gone all of it is just uh dried up so unfortunately that adds a lot of weight to the pack and it makes it harder to move quickly so i know i'm not in the best shape but uh i'm kind of surprised at how slow and uh how slow it's going so and how hard it is to be honest but this is what i wanted i wanted to to take something off, something that was hard, and just say, you know, I may be 37, but I can do, still do this kind of stuff. And I love the outdoors, I love hiking, I love camping. Um, so age is just a number when it comes to that. Now, like I said, granted, I'm not in the best shape anymore because of COVID, but uh, hopefully that changes quickly. So right now, I believe I'm about half a mile left to go and as you can see it's pretty pretty steep downhill uh, this is the toughest trail I've ever been on and I think the mileage is wrong too because my Apple watch is tracking over eight miles at this point and I didn't make any like detours or anything I stayed on the trail so not really sure how uh how they came to that number, but uh, I would say it's most definitely longer than a little over six miles. So, like I said, right now I'm at eight. I expect to be somewhere around nine, even ten, uh, by the time I get uh, back to my car. So right now I'm a little over a quarter of a mile away from the parking area. So thankfully I should be there pretty soon. Uh, and a nice breeze is rolling in. Uh, this trail is brutal. Absolutely brutal. So, I, I don't understand why they said it was moderate. Um, I don't know, maybe the rock thing is in recent development. Um, and uh, it's something that I could talk to the rangers about to have it removed. Uh, because I've almost slipped and fell like seven or eight times at this point. And uh, I'm not looking to crack my skull open. It's just loose rock thrown on the trail. And I know it's for like mountain biking or people on like ATVs, but this is a normal hiking trail. Like there are ATV and bike trails in the area. You want to screw something up, go do that. Don't like turn this into your personal, uh, you know, bike path or whatever for mountain biking and screw over everybody who's actually hiking. It's not right and it sucks. So, almost home.